Oh my god, did you see that? What's going on everybody, Dragas here, and today we're checking out Crossout. This is going to be the newest free-to-play MMO vehicular combat action game, uh, similar to that of War Thunder and World of Tanks. Actually, now that I mention it, it is made by the same developers as War Thunder as well. Now, the biggest difference with this game is obviously the vehicles in it. Usually these are military vehicles. This time, it's pretty much a junkyard. You make your own vehicle, and then you go to battle with whatever you create. It's actually very similar to that of Robocraft, except without the obviously blocky textures. So, before we get into actually building anything, I do want to go to battle with this little creation here. I am on a promo account right now, which is a maxed account, so I'm not very good at this game yet. I've only played a little bit, but we'll see how we do against some of the better people in this game, because we are obviously a high-tiered vehicle right now. So, before we get into a raid, we get to choose what kind of loot we want. At the end of each game, you get a certain amount of loot, and you can see the possible rewards at the bottom of the screen. So, you basically just choose what you want to go for, and then you choose that loot. So, I want to get some wheels, I guess. Not that I really need them, but if I did need them, for example, I would start, get the wheels, and go to battle. So the wait times are usually pretty good in this game, as you can see, uh, two seconds, and it actually still, still is in closed beta. I believe they add AI if there's not enough people playing. Okay, and here we are in the game now. I'm actually waiting for the next um, map to start, so we're just going to check out some of these awesome vehicles that people create. That's what I'm liking so much about this game. I haven't seen any vehicles that look the same, and yes, there is deterioration, as you can see. That vehicle just exploded. This guy has lost some of his wheels. Let's check out some of these other ones, too. You can see you can have bigger vehicles with more defenses or smaller, more nimble vehicles. I mean, this is just an awesome idea for a game. Looks like this guy has some damn swords on the front of his vehicle. You can make, like, ramming focus vehicles. I've seen some different builds in this game. I haven't played it too much yet, but from what I have played, I'm really enjoying it. Well, it looks like this guy is on his last wheels, no pun intended. Oh my god, they are just ganging up on him. And there we go, 200, wow, that is guy has a fucking huge gun. That was 280 damage to him. Usually I see vehicles getting like 20 damage, that is absolutely crazy. Okay, and now it's time for me to get in on this action. So we got to capture the enemy base, or you can just kill all the enemies as well. There's always an obje objective though, just to uh, give people an incentive to do something. Is that someone? Oh, okay, I thought this big thing over here was someone's creation. I was like, I am so screwed here. But yes, I've never actually used this creation, so I don't really know how it's built. It's feeling like it's definitely a scout character that is low defenses uh, with like shotgun like um, weapons on it. Let's actually, okay, yeah, that's definitely shotguns. So I'm going to hopefully use my speed to my advantage here and try and get in behind him. I'm actually following Rancid right now. We're going around the long way. I just want to see if anyone's over here. You know what? Let's take a peek up here. Okay, Staver is fighting someone. Chev is over here as well. You know what? I'm going to go help these guys out, see if I can take some pot shots on the enemies over here. There we go. All right, so there's one down. I did not hit anything yet. There we go. Now I'm getting some damage done. Kill assist, yes. Okay, this guy is flipped, so we got to help him up. So your team can help you up. You can see that guy just helped him up. Uh, so that's really convenient. You can actually put things on your vehicles as well that will flip you up if that happens. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool game. I'm liking this so far. Oh, I'm being hit by someone. Okay, we got two guys over here. I am so screwed. I do not have the defenses to take this out, so I'm going to try and bob and weave just to get these guys off me for long enough to get my team here to help me. You can see I lost a lot of my wheels, but thankfully I had six to start with and I got about three left. Oh, shit, this is not good. I think I'm going down here, guys. Yeah. But I think I helped out quite a bit. I distracted two of the enemies for quite a long time there, especially considering I had quite low defenses. But yeah, it went pretty well. Holy shit, look at this guy. He's got four rockets in the back. I almost want to see him use this to see how fast he can go. And this looks like to be some sort of rammer build. He's got four swords on the front, a huge-ass cannon, some speed on the back. That is just a great design. Oh, and he missed. There he goes, and he rams him. Oh, my God, that is an awesome build. I definitely want to try and build something like that because it looks so fun. Okay, ram him. Do it, do it. There you go, cannon, and oh, he missed. Oh, no, that is great. Oh, my God, did you see that? That, oh, that was the most amazing shot ever. He backed up, spun around, and shot at the perfect time to kill him. Wow, that was great. 
Okay, so that was just one quick battle. I do want to start building a vehicle now. We're going to go back into the battles later on, but uh, I did want to build a little bit in this episode as well, just to showcase how cool the building is. So we have three different slots here. We can build three different vehicles. Let's just go to build. Actually, before I do that, I do want to show something else. You can go to the exhibition here, and I just learned about this. This is basically like the Steam Community Workshop for Besiege. You can browse people's creations, and you can actually save them and download them for yourself. That is if you have the required materials to build said vehicle, but it does give you a good idea on how complex and unique some of these vehicles are. It's also a good place to go if you're just not into building anything or if you're just a bad builder like me. <laughs> you can go here and download something like this. That should totally work well. We got a small cannon on the top and it's a fucking tower basically. <laughs> oh my god, there's cannons on every one. That might actually work well. Who the hell knows? But for this episode, I'm going to do my best to actually build one here. So we are in the editor mode now. We can open up our inventory. And as I said, I am on a promo account. So we got quite a few items in here to play around with. But I don't think we have everything. So I really have no idea what I'm going to build. Let's start off with a frame, though. We want, uh, do we want a lightweight frame? Uh, vehicle frame, only this part can hold wheels, cabins, and other frame blocks. Uh, the power score of this is 20. So I probably should explain the power score a little bit. Basically, the more you build your vehicle, the higher the power score. And then when you go into battle, you are pitted with likewise vehicles. So, for example, a noob vehicle isn't going to go into battle with one of the best vehicles in the game. It has too big of a power score difference. So that's how they kind of keep the game fair, which is a great idea. I do like it. So let's actually just start off with an ordinary frame here, a 4x4 four four frame. Okay, so now we can place this wherever we want. We're just going to put that there. We're actually going to use a few of these. I don't want it too small, but I don't want too big of a vehicle either. I think, I think we'll do three. That should be good enough. And now we need some sort of cabin. Okay, so we got some rare cabins here. We can actually sort by rarity. You can get epics and whatnot. Ooh, I do have an epic harvester. That might be fun to use, we'll figure that out later on, but yeah, you get the idea. S similar to a lot of MMOs, you get different rarity of items, and uh, the better the rarity, generally the better the item. So I think we're going to use the truck cabin. Let's hope this thing isn't... Oh, it is too big, isn't it? Okay, so we're going... You know what? I don't want a vehicle that big, so let's actually... Oh, I just deleted that. I am screwing up like crazy. Alright, let me go put that frame back on, and you know what? Let's... Pro I think we should use this one. This one looks pretty damn cool as well, and it's quite smaller. Okay, but let's add, I think that should be good. You know what, let's add one more frame in the front here. Where, I mean, this is quite a long creation. I really don't know what I'm doing yet, but I do know I want to put treads on this thing, I think. This is just going to be some weird conglomerate of a creation. Do we want armored track or just ordinary smaller tracks? I think we're just going to do the big armored tracks right now, right in the middle of this vehicle. Oh yeah, this is this is going to be fun to drive. Uh, and we're gonna do another one on the other side as well. There we go. <laughs> Look at this beast. Next up, we need an engine. So there are quite a few engines here. We got a powerful engine. Now, these things take energy, and that was my issue before when I was building something. I had too much energy on my car. Basically, each hull, from what I understand, gives you a certain amount of energy. So if we go back up to the hulls here, you can probably see. Uh, adds energy 11 points. Adds energy 10 points. So basically... Weapons, uh, engines, things that you can use, for example, radar, they usually steal energy from you. So from what I understand, you can only put so much energy on one creation. So let's try out the powerful engine here. That is quite a big engine, but it perfectly fits in there, so that's going to be nice and hidden. That's exactly what you want. And what else do we want? Weapon cooler. I don't know if we need one of these, but we're going to add one as well. And I think after this, we're going to add our weapons before we get too crazy here, because I want to make sure I have enough energy for my weapons. Now, which weapon do I want? A Thunderbolt shotgun. That might be fun. The problem with the shotgun, though, is I know I gotta be fast, and I'm not certain if my tank treads are going to be that fast. We got a cannon here. Uh, we got a lot of shotguns, actually. Auto cannon 20 millimeter. You know what? Let's put that on the front, I think. And actually, let's put it right on the front, and then we can put one more weapon right up top here. Okay, and now we have a turret cannon as well. This is six points of energy drain. That is quite a bit of energy, but I should have enough to put this on as well. That just looks freaking horrifying. Not enough energy. See, that's the problem. You okay, so that uses that gives me plus ten. My engine's taking six away. My uh weapon cooler's taking one away, or is that my weapon down there? So we don't have enough for this en engine. Or sorry, weapon, so let's change to maybe this one. Holy shit, look at the size of this thing as well. Not enough energy once again. 
Okay, because we're having such an energy issue, I think I'm going to actually delete this, and I might actually delete the weapon. Yeah, let's delete the weapon cooler as well. I really want to get a big weapon on this thing, so I think I'm going to do this 8 mil 88 millimeter cannon. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's do the turret cannon. I really like the look of this thing. It, it is a beast, and hopefully, this is enough. There we go. Oh my god, that is awesome. And I wonder if I can put the harvester on the front. Oh my god, I can? Okay, so I could put a huge-ass harvester on, but a small little gun, nope, that doesn't work. You know what? I don't think this thing's gonna work very well, but we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, and we got an improved radar here. Increases enemy detection radius by 450 meters. I'll put that on if I do have enough energy. There we go. And what else do we want? Chameleon makes the vehicle completely invisible for a short time. Attacking or damage to the field removes that effect. Uh, do we really want to be a kind of a sniper? I think we probably do. Now, that thing is fucking huge. I don't know if I have enough space to put this. Maybe I can just put it right back here. Not enough energy. Okay, so clearly I think we've added enough parts to this. We don't need to have everything, but I would really like a rocket booster, so let's put that on maybe, and we'll see if this works or not. There we go. And can we do another one? No, we don't have enough energy. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that one, and we're gonna put one... Oh my god, I got rid of the frame again. It's very easy to accidentally delete things in this game, because it's right-click. Okay, so let's add that frame back on, and let's just do one rocket booster right in the middle, and then we can maybe add... Maybe some protection around this? Okay, I'm gonna put spikes here just because I like the look of them. Uh, I don't know if they have, give added protection or they just damage things when you hit them. Kind of pointless to have them there, but I don't really care. It looks freaking awesome. And then we have a radio increases the radius of information transmission to allies by 450 meters. So I'm not really a scout, but I'll just add that here because I do have the space to do so. Is there anything else? Oh, carjack. That was the thing I was talking about. This device can overturn your vehicle without the help of other players. I don't think I'm really going to have that much of a problem flipping. Uh, generally, you have to have a very high center of gravity for that to happen, and this thing definitely doesn't. So I'm not really too worried about that. Allow zooming in on enemies and landing more precise shots. Yes. I do want that, though. We'll throw that back there. Oh, we actually don't have enough energy, so we are officially out of energy because I believe this one only uses one energy. Yes, it does. So I can't put any more beneficial things on my creation. I can really just add armor and whatnot. So I know this is going to make it ugly, but it's going to keep my gun a little bit... Actually, do we want to do that? Because then it can't churn as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want to do that. You know what? Let let's keep this thing pretty damn open. I'm going to try and play it like a sniper. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I think this is it for right now. This should be good enough, I think. Okay, so let's try and go to battle with this crazy-ass thing. What do we want? You know what? Get to the cannon. Let's try and get another cannon here, because why the hell not? Okay, and here we are in the actual game. Oh my god, why did it... I did not... It's on right-click? That is the weirdest thing ever. Okay, so I right-click to turn, and for whatever reason, I put my gun on right-click. Now, I gotta figure out how do I use my rocket. Okay, F is to use my rocket. You can see at the bottom there. So this should be working totally fine. What a weird looking creation though. Okay, it's just a freaking war zone here on this bridge. This is awesome. Uh, I can't really get a good hit off. I can see someone shooting right here. Let's, uh, did, 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 was that me? Oh, I did hit him. Holy shit, for 188. And there's a guy up here. Let's start hitting him up if we can. There we go. That's how we get him. There, keep hitting him. Okay, I'm definitely preferring this creation over our other one. I don't have to get nice and close and personal. I can stay in the back and try and get some pot shots off. I can just see this guy, but I can't hit him. Oh, behind us, behind us. There we go. We got an enemy. I'm going to try and catch up to him and then use my rocket. My rocket is not helping at all. Okay, so I guess I need wheels to use this damn rocket. Let's try and get him, though. I'll see, see if we can uh, take him down. Oh god, I'm on fire! This is not good! This is not good! Use my rocket! And it's not helping at all! And we're down. Okay, so I built officially the stupidest creation ever, but it was fun. Okay, but the great thing about this game is if you don't like your creation, you can tweak it to the point where you do like it. So what do we want now? Studded wheels. Maybe I should get those. Okay, let's see how big these wheels are, though. I feel like, oh yeah, they're way too small for my liking. I want to get a nice big wheel here. Wheel with chains. You know what? Let's do that. That looks... Those are small as well. Okay, the only ones probably that are actually large are the large wheels. So let's try that, I guess. Okay, that's a little better. We're going to throw one large wheel in the back here. Maybe I should put... No, you know what? We're going we're gonna to keep it simple. Let's put four wheels on this thing and just go and see what happens. 
Okay, and you want to make sure you put steering wheels on the front or on the back if you want to do like a forklift style. Uh, where do we want them? Somewhere around there should be good. And there we go. We got ST. That means steering. And make sure these are all centered. That looks good. That's looking pretty damn good. But I think I should put some armor on this thing now. So I don't really know much about armor in this game yet. I really haven't looked into it too much. Uh, indestructible. Half wall. So, okay. We can definitely put some good armor on this then. Okay, and we're going to move our radar actually to the back of this because we have room now. And obviously, I want this out of sight. I don't want this to be attacked. Everything in the front here is just basically weapons now, so that's totally fine. Okay, and I found a metal box. I think I'm going to use these to try and kind of hide my wheels. So we put two metal boxes on there, and then we have some um, kind of scrap metal here. Let's do the truck door maybe. Can I maybe rotate this? Okay, there we go. We can put it like that. I mean, this isn't going to be pretty, but it might help me quite a bit. Let's get another truck door if we have one. Uh, where the hell did they go? Okay, so yeah, we do have seven truck doors. That's perfect. Rotate and turn other way. Oh, this is <laughs> this is really confusing. There we go. Now my wheels should be a little bit more safe. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, and there we go. That's actually looking pretty good. I think this should be good enough for right now. I don't really want to add too much to it because I believe... If you add too much weight, it just starts slowing it down. So let's keep it like that. Uh, maybe, can we actually put another rocket on the back? Okay, let's just see if I have the energy to put a rocket on here. Uh, no, I don't have enough energy. Okay, so I can't do that. I don't want to install a battery. I don't want this too complex anyways. The more complex I make it, the harder the enemies I have to fight. So I think this is good enough. Uh, let's try once again here. Hopefully it ends a bit better. Okay, so we've changed the tracks to wheels and added some more defense here. Let's see how this thing works now. First impressions, it feels very heavy. It's pretty damn slow, but it might just be these slow wheels as well. Okay, we got some guys coming up. There we go. We hit one. Oh, God, does he have does he have heat-seeking missiles on his vehicle? That is crazy. All right, I got to get my team back. I don't know where the hell my team is. I just left our base, and our enemies are already here. Oh, this bastard here. Oh, God, he does have heat-seeking missiles. That is evil. You are fucking evil. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Let's boost out of here. This thing doesn't help too much. Okay, they have not let up on me. I'm a little worried here. There we go. You know what? All right, let's try and harvest this motherfucker. Come here, buddy. There you go. I got his wheels off. Yes. Okay, but I'm having a hard time steering my thing. There we go. Just do a little bit of damage, my, my little harvester. I can't, I can't get to him. You know what? There we go. Enemy destroyed. And we got this other guy coming up here. There you go. Nice big cannon right to the front and rocked it. There we go. I'm damaging him. I'm damaging him over time with that thing. That is so cool. And I am out of weapons to use now, so I'm just going to try and hold myself and keep this guy busy shooting me. Let me see if I can damage him here. Oh, there. Yes! Okay, well, I didn't I didn't do any damage, did I? But I got the kill assist, and we did get the victory. So I got 630 reputation for that. Not too bad. That went better than expected, honestly. Okay, trying again here. This time I'm going to try and follow most of my team. It looks like three guys are going down this way, so I'm going to follow them. And here comes the enemies. You know what? Oh, excuse me. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, God. I wanted to hit him with my thing, guys. All right. I, I clearly fucked up that one, though. All right. Let's just keep hitting this guy. Keep on him, boys. There we go. We got the kill assist. Daniel has been destroyed. I saw another enemy over here. I'm going to go over there and see if I can find him. Oh, yes. Hello, good friend. I'm going to rocket into you and use my harvester to my advantage right into the water. No. <laughs> and I, th I think I'm dead here, aren't I? Yep. Well, I knocked him into the water, but I knocked myself in as well. That was not the smartest idea. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for our first episode for the closed beta for Crossout. I still have a lot to learn in this game, but I am having a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you guys enjoy this as well. And if you are enjoying this game, please let me know what you want to see in the near future. We can obviously stay on this promo account, making a bunch of different crazy creations, or we can start off as a noob and work our way up. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.